What is up guys, it's your boy Andy Arts. Welcome back to the channel and I've been trying to improve my art skills uh, in, in the past month of July so you know uh, if you've been following this channel just a quick story about myself. I did go to art school to in a community college it was I got a graphic design certificate um, but I did it. I really didn't uh, pursue a career in art. I went and got a regular job and I tried other, you know, business ventures that didn't go very well. And then I came right back to art. Like always, you know, it's I guess it's just something that really stays with you for, you know, into your adulthood. You know, a lot of artists, the, you know, they kind of have that in the back of their head. You still want to do art. You just don't know how to make it happen, how to, you know, get paid for it. That's really what we're all after, right? And we gotta improve. Now, I took an Illustrator course from Colossal, right? Colossal, you've probably seen a lot of the advertisements on the internet, uh, learning, you know, Colossal courses, whether if it's like, you know, graphic design or illustration, anime, animation, drawing, coloring. There's a lot of courses on Colossal, right? And a lot of art courses that I have found on the internet really suck, especially on YouTube. There are a lot of good YouTubers out there, but um, the problem with art YouTube is like, if you're a beginner, if you're trying to improve, a lot of people don't know how to uh, improve their art without guidance. Like, what do I do first? For example, you learn the human anatomy, but like, you don't have like a clear idea as to how to get how to get started. What goes first? What should you what should you learn first? What should you learn second? Some people just start coloring, then some people just start uh, in anatomy first, some people just start drawing anime right away. But little do they know that if they actually study, you know, human anatomy, their anime art will actually improve. So here it is. This is my Colossal course review of Sung Mu Hill, right? So this is an illustrator course, Sung Mu Hill, basically shows you how to draw, you know, dynamic characters, you know, stylized characters, right? And um, so here's what I think of it. So first of all, first of all, uh, let me show you the results that I got from the course. So um, this is how I used to draw before, right? So if you look at this picture here, this is how I used to draw. And when I drew this, uh, I kind of drew this coming back into the art world, coming, you know, trying to get back into it. This is what I draw because I, I was drawing for years and then I stopped. So this is what I draw and now Take a look at what I drew right after I finished the course, right? So this is a character. It's kind of like a samurai fantasy character that I made. And I really like the liner. I really like the pose that I did. Um, I think the neck could use a little uh, work, <laughs> right? But overall, I think that it came out really nice. This is one of the most detailed drawings I I've done. Um, I really like the wrinkles. This is something that I really like about the course. They teach you about how to draw clothing wrinkles. This is, this is something that I struggle with so much, like drawing the clothing folds. But anyways, uh, and then here is the colored version of that drawing, right? So I'm not the best at drawing. I mean, well, excuse me, I'm not the best at coloring, but I think um, after I've after the liner, I think the colors are okay. They're not the absolute best, but I think the coloring is all right. For I'm not an absolute beginner. I'm more like an intermediate kind of. And this is what I came up, you know, with shadowing, trying in some light. And I think I did a pretty good job, but hey, that's for other people to judge and decide. Uh, now, again, this is the results from from taking Sung Moo Hill's illustration course on Colossal. Again, this is not a coloring course, so the, the, the course is not focused on coloring. This is just, um, you know, me, the, you know, the, what I created after the course, after learning everything. And then this is another piece that I've been, that I just finished working on, right? This is a girl under tree, I called it. And I really like it, right? I actually really like her hair. I really like her hair and how she looks here. Um, I think I did a pretty good job on the anatomy. Maybe I could use some work around the knees area when, you know, bend the knees, which is kind of hard to draw a lot of times, but I digress. Anyways, uh, and um, yeah, I gave it some, you know, black and white shading just kind of to practice my, you know, coloring idea. So here it is. And again, I think that it came out pretty good. So Sun Moon Heels Colossal Course. What is it about? What can you expect to find? Let's take a look. 
Right, so the first thing that um, you're gonna learn the course, uh, they're going. Sung Woo Hill goes over anatomy. Like uh, he he will draw a couple of a couple of things just to show you like his work. But um, he starts out with anatomy, so everything from drawing the head, drawing the you know the, the the head face in different angles, right, and then drawing the body, drawing the body, the torso, the legs, everything. Uh, he teaches you how to draw the body in different uh, different angles using using cube a cube perspective, right? And I think a lot of courses do that, but I really like how Sung Woo Hill teaches teaches it here, and uh, I also I also really like his art style, so. Yeah, there's that. Uh, he also goes over dynamic poses, so you know you will take uh, some images, some fashion images, and he will draw it with you, right? And I think this is a really good practice, and I actually really, I really enjoy doing this. But um, one of the main things that I get from this course, because I have studied anatomy before, and this is just kind of like a refresher on anatomy. But what I like about this course the most was clothing folds, drawing those god difficult folds like you know those clothing wrinkles on different types of fabric whether if it's cotton leather whatever man um i've always struggled tr struggled to do those because i whenever i draw folds on, on clothing it always looks kind of funny or it always looks like just kind of off so sung Mu hill he really goes over like how how clothing folds should look you know when how your clothes cascade on the body and which, what area should be more flat, what area should be more wrinkled, and all of that. This is really good training, okay? I highly recommend this. If there's anything in this course that I recommend the most, it's really this part of the course, right? I think it's really worth it. And then uh, towards the end of the course, he'll draw a male character, he'll draw a, a female character, and he shows you his, uh, his work in progress, right? How to, basically using the pen, uh, how to add details when you're erasing and you know in drawing uh it's, it's a really i think it's a really good uh you know process he, he shows you his entire process while you see he uses clip studio and photoshop in this course and i think that's a really good you know i i think it's good because using two softwares and it shows you shows you what you can do in one software and what you cannot in what the other software is better for although he's the, the course is not focused on that but um i just thought i just throw that in there you know so uh, this is not a coloring course, as I said before. This this course is not for coloring. You, she, he's not gonna teach you about like, um, you know, darks and lights. I think towards the end of the towards the end of the course, he does go over that, but that's not the focus of this course. It's mainly anatomy, poses, clothing folds, and drawing a good stylized character, right? So at the end of the course, he's gonna go. He spends like one hour. I think one or two hours in coloring and he does go he does color one character towards the end and he talks about basic color shadowing lighting all of that stuff but i feel as though you're not really gonna learn coloring you know in in those two hours of the course but it was a good reference i think he, he did all right teaching that other than that um i think the rest of the course is absolutely great all right. Now again, so I uh, I took this course to improve my uh, my character design, and the next course that I will be taking from Colasso from Colasso is going to be Catan's course, right? Catan's course on five steps of coloring, so that I can improve my um, you know my coloring because I, I you know coloring has never been my thing. I've always been more like a pencil and ink type of guy, and I'm very confident in my line art, enjoying human human figure, human anatomy. But I've always been lacking in the coloring department, right? So um, I hope you like this review. I hope this has probably motivated you and inspired you to go and purchase the course. I don't have an affiliate link here. I'm not. This is not a sponsored video from Colasso. So um, yeah, whatever your thoughts are, make sure to uh, comment below. Make sure to like this video and share this video. Share it on social media, Twitter, Facebook, wherever you are and um subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell comment below tell me what you think and guys this is andy arts okay i will see you in the next video thank you for watching